Okay, this is one of the question asked by one one of my online student. I think this is a sad chapter, right? So I'm going to like, yeah. Uh, teach all of you how to solve this kind of question. It's not really hard. First, you must understand what's the meaning for universal set. Uni universal set means all the value in your set. So you will have you will have universal set is. A universal symbol I think is something like this yeah maybe you can draw better okay from 52 to 65 when you got this symbol without equal you know you doesn't include 52 so you start from 53 so 53 54 55 56 57 58 59 60 until 64 because 65 is not included. Alright, this is all the number you have in this question. Mean your P and Q cannot like have some value outside of this this range. Alright, so then what's your P have? Your P is a prime number. So you can straight away check your prime number over here. So I think 53 is a prime number because no number can like divide by like no number can can be divided by 53 I I mean 53 cannot divide by any number All right so 54 no 55 no 56 no 57 I think yes 50 oh uh, no 57 can divide by 3 right yeah 19 so 57 is not 58 59 yeah 59. 60, 61, 61, 61, yeah, 61, yes, prime number. 63, no, 64, yeah, so the prime number, the prime number for P, you only have these three, 53, 59, and 61. Must be careful on 57, because sometimes a lot of students will write it. Even I myself sometimes will write it also. Okay, X is multiple of 5, so you cannot write 5, 10, 15, all this, because that one is out of the range. So you must choose the multiple of 5 from here. We got 55, 60 only. So you got 55 and 60. Alright, you cannot write 65 because this one do not have equal sign. So it's just until 64 you stop it. Alright, then he asked you to find an element in this set. So you must at least understand the set. So I randomly draw out a Venn diagram. So I give it two set. So obviously what? Both of them do not intersect because they do not share any same number over here. So I call this one P, this one is a Q. Alright, so P complement means everything outside of P intersect with P intersect with Q complement. So which area is that? If the question say like this, P complement intersect, Q complement will be everything outside of two, these two circles. This is what we call P complement intersect with Q complement. So we've got something like this. This is the... So, from here, you, under, you must understand something, which is, whatever inside these two sets, I'm not included in my final answer. So what do I have in my final answer? So the element in this set will be... So I start from 53. I got the 53 here, so cannot write it. So it will be 54. Okay, done this one. 55, both also got, cannot use it. And then, yeah, 56, yes. No one write 56, it will be 56. Then 57, yes, so 56, 57, 58, 59. Yes, here got 59, right? So you cannot include 59 here. So 60, here got 60, you cannot include 60 because it must be outside of these two range. So here got 61, cannot include 61. So start from 62, 63, and 64. Yes, then, then you have done. Alright, so means all this element is the green color over here. Means they're outside all the P and Q. Because P and Q over here, you actually, you will have uh, 53 inside, you have 59 inside, you got 61 inside. Same to here, you got 55 and 60. So green color one must be outside of all this. 
So this is what they're trying to tell about this question. Of course, you must able to draw out uh, the Venn diagram for this one in order to solve this kind of question. Alright, so last part before I end this video, I'm going to like teach you how to draw this part. Actually, it's quite simple. Let me draw this one bigger. Alright. This is P and Q. In this case, they do not intersect, but sometimes they do intersect. Alright, so I'm going to use different color to like explain to you, but I use some light color. Okay, first, they say outside of P, right? So I'm going to draw everything outside of P. So I call this one as P. So everything outside of P, I'm going to draw it. Because P complement means everything outside of P, right? So I'm going to draw everything outside of P. Include the Q also, because Q is outside of P also. Alright, so yeah. So this is P, this is Q. Alright, then intersect with Q complement. I do not know where is the area, so I, I do the same also. I draw everything outside of Q. So I will draw everything outside of Q. So everything outside of Q means I cannot touch Q. Yes, this is everything outside of Q. So if the question says P complement intersect Q complement, you from this diagram you have to find those area who have two color one, which is you see this means all the outside because inside here means only have one color one color is not included so therefore you only got everything outside of p and q which is everything outside here all right if the question changed to p intersect uh, complement union q complement okay in these cases no matter one color or two color all you need to include so basically it's everything so in this color, will, in these cases, will equals to the universal set, right? So you must understand what is the difference between intersect and union, All right? Whenever you say intersect, you must find those area who have two color, mean the gray color and the purple color, All right? Inside of P and inside of Q, I cannot take why because they only have one color, All right? So unless it's union, union no matter one color, two color, all we take. Alright, this is the difference between union and intersect. Alright, I hope uh, this short video actually can make you un understand better about this part. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.